As I told you earlier, ni kwamba tukiwa ndani ya Raushwa, ni kwamba mimi sijaenda anywhere. I'm just around because kama unavyojua na kama haujui, then niko hapa nikwambie ni kwamba every Monday tuko na Mid Morning Park to uh, discuss stories of finances. Na the Mid Morning Park haiko Monday peke yake because uh, pia nime receive so many uh, messages za watu wakiuliza maswali mengi now the mid morning park monday huwa tuna discuss finances are we together tuesday huwa tuna discuss maswali ya kisheria na, by, na tuesday huwa ni polkagi and mangicho mola are we together then wednesday huwa tuna discuss stories za leadership na madereva wako wa Wednesday bado ni uh, Paul Kagi and Mangicho Mola. Thursday huwa tunaangalia lifestyle. All right? Na ni kipindi ambacho huwa kinaletwa kwako ndani ya the mid morning na Sylvia na Faith na kuna wakati mpaka utamuona Rachel. Are we together? And then ikifika ni Friday ni Men Matters. Now Men Matters madereva ambao huwa wanakupeleka hapo ni Paul Kagi and Monene David. Are we together? Kwa hiyo mid morning ni Monday to Friday is only that kila siku tunajadili mambo tofauti and it happens ya kwamba siku ya Jumatatu ambayo ndio leo huwa tunaangalia masuala ya fedha. Na kama ndivyo unajiunga nasi kwa mara ya kwanza kabisa, first of all, mgeni karibu. Secondly, feel at home. Thirdly, hapa tunapenda wageni sana and because of that just know that you're safe. Are we together? And something else ni kwamba in this station and also we have a radio station, we have so many programs. It is not only Mid Morning Park. Okay? Na najua kwamba vile ambavyo utaendelea kupelekana na sisi utaweza kujua vipindi vingine vingi ambavyo vinapeperushwa hapa. Committee is my very very good name. Na tumekuwa na series ya discussions nikiwa na Mr. Gedenji Njogu ambaye nashukuru Mungu sana kwa ajili yake kwa sababu ya neema ya Mungu in that area ya finances ya the marketplace and especially wakati ambapo tumeanza kuiangalia from the spiritual aspect Mimi huwa ninarudia na najua kwamba atakuja kusisitiza hapa ni kwamba wakati ambapo tulianza this conversation tulianza pale chini kabisa na kukufunza what faith is all about and we said tukiwa very very specific ya kwamba kama ukuweza kushika the first conversation that we had about faith unaweza pata hizi conversation zingine ambazo tumekuwa nazo kidogo ni kama zinakupeleka hivi but when you go back na ukilisten that conversation about faith sasa hizi zingine zitakuja tu kama zime zimeingia tu vizuri you know now to cut the long is it the long story short or the long introduction short ni kwamba last week tulizungumza about how to eat bread na sisemi toasty ama any other bread that you're thinking about broadways and all that of course they are not paid for an advert ni wakati ambapo you um so seed Okay you, you have given you tight and and that also reminds me of a question that I was I was asked na hiyo nafikiri hata ndio ataanza nayo so what you remain with that's bread how do you eat it kuna watu wenye wamekuwa na notion ya kwamba bread ni kibaki nayo god does not have a say na vile ambavyo mimi ninaitumia <laughs> but now last week mr gidenji alitupeleka na hata tukasoma biblia sana na kuona ya kwamba actually the word of god advises you on how to eat bread ndivyo uepuke ngori huko mbele ni ngori kama gani nazungumzia unaweza pata tu mavitu zinafanyika so that is why you are supposed to look after your parents because portion of that bread ni yao that's why unafaa kuangalia widows and orphans like tuliongea sana and that was one conversation yenye ninaweza sema ya kwamba it was an eye opener to majority of people kwa sababu hata ninyangalia comments watu walikuwa nasema wow i did not know about that now we are here today now let me tell you something today we'll be talking about who controls the wealth of this world and also how not to eat bread now that last time mr gedenja alituambia how to eat bread now today 
we are focusing on how not to eat bread but also as we talk about that ni kama tuko na topics mbili ni pia tutakuwa tunaangalia who controls the wealth of this world are we together and then kuna mahali tulienda tukachukua maoni ya watu friday na tukiuliza wase wakati ambapo wamepata do iwe ni salary ama ni kutoka kwa business yenye mtu anafanya how do you prioritize in terms of budgeting unfortunately ni kwamba quite uh, a good number of the people that we spoke to uh, their audio ikakuwa na issue but we have four gentlemen na sijui mbona hiyo issue ilikam kwa stories zenye ni za ladies au oh, ndio mambo yao ilikwenda hivi but we have four men ambao wanatuambia once mtu amepata do how do you prioritize na utakuwa unajua baadaye why we ask that particular question now ladies and gentlemen dakika 40 zimekatika baada ya na this wonderful topic tunafaa kuimaliza by sasita kumaanisha kwamba hatuna muda mrefu sana ambao umebaki lakini hata wakati ambapo namkaribisha Mr. Gedenji aweze kuzungumza nasi ni kwamba there is a verse that tumekuwa tukisoma sana 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 Genesis chapter 8 and verse 22 which says as long as the earth endures seed time and harvest cold and heat summer and winter day and night will never cease Good morning. Good morning my and brother. Praise the Lord. Bwana You look sharp. Thank okay, you. you always look sharp. Oh, thank you. Today you are sharper. Uh, thank you. No kugeria man. No kugeria. What are you doing? Thank you. I I give God the glory. Ukwiski am Kenya amekuambia no kugeria. Acha utikotire kugeria haya. We thank the Lord for you. No kugeria means ni kujaribu tu but hatujaribu tunashukuru Mungu. Last week I know you were super busy. Yes. I saw it and I said glory to God. Amen. So utasalimiana mm. na venye wewe unasema is a good teacher. Yes. Unatubriefia kwenye umekuwa mm. and then now unatupeka recap kidogo yes. ya last time alafu sasa leo tunaingia yes. kwa topic of discussion. Yes. Karibu sana. Asante sana. Um, first of all I want to thank God for the opportunity that I have to share yeah. with the people of God the word yes. of God. Yes. I consider it a privilege to be called of God uh, to share the word. Amen. Um, I know there are people that are way more learned than I am. Yes. probably studied the word more than i have yes. or even pray more than i do okay. um, but god by his own mercy and by his grace has chosen to give me this opportunity so i really thank god Amen. for that also just to uh, thank my spiritual father uh, for also allowing us as a media house to function the platform and just give us this platform mm. where we can uh, express the gifts that god has put yes. inside of us amen So asante sana also just to thank our viewers thank you for joining us those of you that have been following us <coughs> is this our seventh show or eighth show i have lost count to come early up uh, but to me and i end yeah um i know on our youtube page mid morning uh you are you are you would be able to follow uh, the things that we've been discussing yeah i urge if today is your first time please go back and watch those foundational uh, teachings that we started with true um yeah so yes we've been busy there yeah. has been a lot of uh, conferences here and there yes uh, god has been so gracious to me i've gotten quite a few places to just go and share the word yes i always feel the more i share uh, the more god fills me mm-hmm. uh, with more revelation yeah. so it's a privilege for me to to serve god amazing na nashukuru mungu karibu sana asante so utatupeleka you know fast You know uh, concerning last week what we shared and then e topic ya who controls mm. the wealth of the world mm. utatuambia kwenye imetoka sawa um, na how not to eat bread sisi kama kama tulibonga kuhusu how to eat bread hmm. uh, so is it important for us to know how not to eat bread very extremely because that's where many of us are we are eating bread the way it should be eh tunakula vile istahili <laughs> tunakula tunatanuka tukifungua mdomo yeah. tukifanya maneno mbaya mbaya yeah. <laughs> karibu sana so last sana. Week, i know there was also the question of tithing um, you've said it again i wasn't prepared to answer it today but i can answer it uh-huh. uh, i think someone asked about tithing and fast fruit mm-hmm. and they even asked whether the fast fruit should be given um, uh, is it your first salary of the month yeah uh, for the year mm. I'll really try and go quickly um, but one of these days we'll get more time okay. so that we have a whole show to just cover about that. Na mwingine akauliza. Yes. Seed. Yes. 
na tide yes is it the one and the same thing aha yeah asante so, utajibu zote mbili wacha nijibu yeah wacha nianze na fast food mm -hmm. and the genesis of fast food fast food uh, when god was giving the the law of moses neta the law of moses yeah. um one of the instructions was wakati ambapo umepanda ngano uh, maybe you have got a whole acre of uh, ngano um and then yanze kuchomoza right yeah. um so there you would go and take a shift uh -huh. or like um uh, in fact because i did a study on this i wanted to know what portion was the shift okay so according to rabbis and old jewish study uh, as i was reading they were saying it would be like a 60th of an acre mm -hmm. because essentially is niganis imetokea kwanza so you get like a basket you 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 gather unajaza your basket unaenda kuipelekea kwa priest mm -hmm. ndio aweze ku dedicate the whole amount yes so fast fruit is um, from the word fast fruit malimbuko ya kwanza mm. ni fruit za kwanza mm -hmm. whatever fast is coming you take a portion of it right the house of god and you take it to the house of god okay right yeah um, um so it was a culture and it is something that we as believers do today yeah um is fast fruit your salary yako ya january no that is not biblical that is extra biblical teaching mm -hmm. if uh, one teaches that it's not in the bible mm -hmm. um it you see under the law of moses all our givings were based on law every giving okay ilikuwa ni sababu ni sheria mm -hmm. ni lazima sababu hivyo ndio imewe imewekwa hivyo ndio imewekwa yeah. na hivyo ndivyo hiko mm -hmm. so fast fruit was a function of law mm -hmm. ilikuwa ni sheria ilikuwa ni sheria okay eh taifi jacob in fact let me combine both jacob made a covenant with god that yeye na descendants wake a tenth of all they possess they will give to god mm -hmm. You know when God said he would bless him when Jacob wrestled with God God him, he committed. So he committed the children of Israel. Yeah. So when Malachi is coming to say why are you robbing God? Ni sababu kuna covenant Iliwekwa. over the children of Israel. Yeah. So and even when the law of Moses was given a tithe was demanded. That's why um, in the Old Testament we talk of paying tithe. Sababu lazima uilipe. Are we together? Okay. Now we come under grace the new testament now we come into the new testament okay the idea of tithing and giving fast fruits even in the new testament still stands mm -hmm. i can show you sections where jesus refers to it there was a time he was uh, talking to the pharisees um, who are you know they were bragging how they are nice and they do things yeah. and jesus told them you know those things you are saying about giving a tithe of this and that those are good you must continue doing them however there are other weightier matters of love and justice that must also be upheld mm -hmm. so even jesus agreed with the matters of tithe yeah but under the under grace now we don't tithe um i i also need to teach this the first time tithe appears the word tithe is in uh, genesis 14:20 Genesis 14:20 Abraham has gone to war because akina Lot walikuwa wamekamatwa uh, he comes back with everything when he comes back there are two kings waiting for him mm -hmm. one of those kings was also a king and a high priest he was called Melchizedek yeah all right mm -hmm. uh, or the prince of Salem now Melchizedek was waiting for Abraham with bread and wine mm -hmm. and when Abraham came um he blessed abraham he actually he blessed abraham so meaning he was greater than abraham mm. and abraham the bible says after he blessed abraham abraham gave a tenth of everything to melchizedek yeah who is melchizedek melchizedek is jesus yeah because it's, it's jesus who apply it's jesus who appeared there, there are instances in the um, old testament where jesus shows up that is one instance melchizedek is actually jesus christ that is why abraham had to bow had to tithe and that's why even in hebrews he says the lesser is blessed by the greater mm. all right so, he so this is jesus christ him. now so when abraham is tithing the law of moses has not yet been passed 
In fact, Moses is not yet born. Mm -hmm. See, tunajua vile hii. Yeah. Ama ndaku niambia Moses ndiyo babu ya Abraham. <laughs> Where well, committee? Where? Well, Who came first? See Abraham. Yes, in your bus. So Abraham came first. <laughs> so when Abraham has come, the law of Moses is Jacob. Law number one, law of Moses is Japan. Yeah. Number two, Jacob had make a commitment to God that he mwenye atakuwa na toa ten percent. Why did Abraham give ten percent? In Jeremiah, we learn that there are ancient paths of God. Mm. Kunanjia za mungu that were there before the formation of the world and will always be there. All right? In this world, everything that is in the world, there is all, first of all, everything belongs to God. And even in what God has given to man, there is always a portion that belongs to God. At a man, I've given you dominion. I've given you the Garden of Eden. Were there not two trees? Ambayo aliambiwa siguze. Yep. So alipewa kila kitu, but kuna ili aliambiwa, hii ni ya mungu, hii ya chana nae. Hii ya pana guza. Yep. Are we together? Yes, we are. So, a tithe, Abraham had that spiritual understanding, because the man who walked with God. He knew, if, first of all, everything I have ni mungu wa menipatia. Number one. Number two, of everything I have, a tenth needs to go back into the house of the Lord. Because even we're here when Melchizedek is, a, is coming in, he's coming in as a king and as a priest. Yep. That is why he's speaking blessings. Mm. Are we together? Yes, we are. So, today, under the new dispensation, we don't tithe or give fast fruits under the law. That is why for me personally, I disagree when people say, pay your tithes. Mm -hmm. I say no. When you pay your tithes, you are under the law, you don't see the promises of the word. You should give your tithes by faith. Yeah. Kwa imani. Kwa imani. Si kwa lazima. Sio kwa sheria. Right? Ni kwa imani. When you learn the ways of God. For example, the Bible says, be holy because I am holy. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. You choose whether you want to walk in the holiness of God or not. Or not. Isn't it? Mm. There is no true worship that is forced. Yeah. It is not possible for us to say we are truly worshiping God. Mm. Our tithes and our fast fruits are a form of worship before God. That is true. God says that whatever we are giving, we should give it cheerfully mm. and willingly and not under compulsion. Mm -hmm. How can it be cheerful and willingly? Sele to meambiwa is your pain. Lazima. So you are doing it because you have been told by someone too. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yeah. So when we read the it's good to eleve neno visuri. So we see tithing appearing even before the law. Mm -hmm. So tithing ninjia za mungu. Is, is one way in which God functions. The ancient paths. Is an ancient path of God that precedes Abraham, precedes the creation of the world. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Yes, I am. It's actually a very deep spiritual revelation. The tithing. Yeah. So now that we are under this new dispensation, when I am going to uh, give my tithes, I give my tithes in the form of worship. The posture of my heart when I'm giving tithe and fast fruit is worship. Yeah. What do I mean, Nikisema, posture of the heart? Ukiwa kanisani unainua mikono, unaabudu mungu. Ama unaomba. Where is your heart at that point? Is your heart focusing on God? Or is your heart focusing on majirani wananiangalia, wananiona? It's God. Sijui kama pastor ananiona, hapa aone vile mina inuwa mikono vizuri? Ni God. So when you are praying and you are worshipping God, the posture of your heart is toward God. Yes, of course. So is tithing and giving fast fruits. Because it's a we form of worship. It's a form of worship. We are required to worship God in spirit and in truth. Truth. I put it to you. We should give our tithes and our fast fruits in spirit and in truth. Yeah. From a, a joyful heart. From a point of faith. The Bible says, whatever is not of faith is sin. Wow. If you're giving your tithes 
Because umeambiwa ni lazima na ni sheria na ni lazima. Otherwise wewe si mkristo. Na umetishwa. You are in sin. Oh. Because you have done it outside of unwillingly. And that is why you tithe but the enemy is still attacking you. Unasema Mungu si unasema malaka eh that you shall rebuke the devourer. Mbona how rebuke devourer? It's because this your tithe is not being recognized. Because it is not done in faith. It is being done, you know, <laughs> taxes, you don't pay taxes by faith. <laughs> you pay taxes kwa lazima. Ju utakutwa. Yes. Eh KRA don't require you to have faith. Yeah. <laughs> lazima ulipe. Yeah, because it is the law. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Na ya Mungu hatutoi kama vile tunatolea KRA. Ya no. Mungu. Ya Mungu ni kwa imani. Tunaitoa kat kwa imani. Tunaitoa kwa ibada in terms of sacrifice, in terms of worship. We are worshiping God. So when you get a hold of your tithe and your first fruit and you go before God, you say, Lord, you see <laughs> the Hebrews, is it Hebrews 8, 7 or 7, 8? It says, here mortal men receive the tithes, but there, now in heaven, he receives uh, he receives it of whom it is witnessed that he lives. Mm. Mm. So your tithe, when you're giving your tithes, while you may see your pastor standing there na munapeleka hapo mbele, in the spirit realm, if your eyes were to be opened, Jesus Christ is the one receiving your tithes. And when you give your tithes by faith, it, you are testifying that Jesus Christ lives and that he is Lord over all. He is Lord over everything that you have. I so giving my tithe, giving my offering is beyond my bishop, is beyond my pastor. That's it. It's between me yes. and God. Yes. And we do it as worship. To God. Okay. Committee, there's a time. Yes. Let me say this example because ni vizuri. All right. Kuna wakati, niliona, um, uh, you know, there's the, the church where I go to. Yeah. Uh, lakini nikona pia kuna kanisa ingine naona nikama pia kuna mahitaji. Sasa nikasema, si nigawanisha hita hithi. Eh, part of it, yende hapa mbapo na shiriki. Eh, another so portion go, 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 of my tithe five five. Eh, yes, in your side, ni side of what? Ten. See si yeah. on wisdom, Zuri. I'm going to lie. That we <laughs> human has wisdom, you know. And um, you know, I I did it with very good intention. Okay. I miss Kwa Nobaya. Oh yes, until the Lord showed up at night in a dream. <laughs> so in the dream, yeah. This was, it is it is like it was like a vision dream. Yeah. Like now na for sure Jalala. Uh-huh. I see myself sleeping on the bed. Na kitanda gu na yona vizuri. I see my sleeping next to me uh-huh. in the vision. Yep. As I'm sleeping, I look around and I see the walls of my bedroom are not there. So now na inje, now na stars moon uko. Then now na people moving around, some look like they want to construct the walls. <clears throat> then I see my laptop bag hanging on a pillar. Unajua nyumba ikitengenezwa na kuwaga na pillars. Yes. Hanging on a pillar in, in the dream. Yeah. Then, <laughs> I see one guy who is a fundi, who is anajaribu uh, construct walls, and he's actually, in the dream, it's someone I actually know. <laughs> uh, he's, uh, this guy is a friend of mine from childhood, and from childhood, he used to call me CEO. Mm. So he calls me, he says, CEO, what's wrong with you? Unalala hapa, na umeacha laptop hanging here, na unaona hapa vile kuna watu wengi. My friend, he laptop itenda na uta ipata tena. I got so scared I woke up. When I woke up, it was around 2 a.m., so I went to the sitting room. That thing, it wasn't a dream, it was like a vision dream. I said, Lord, help me to understand. What are you saying? What is, what is the meaning of this dream? Now, anytime I see a laptop for me in my dreams, a laptop represents my work or the work of my hands. Yeah. It represents my businesses. Mm-hmm. It is because the things I do and how I function, Lapi I always use sana. laptops. I'm told we have only two minutes to go for a oh, break. Okay. Here. Mm-hmm. So it represents my income, right? Now, the fact that there are no walls means anyone can actually walk of in course. to my intimate place because the bedroom is my intimate yeah. place. They can walk in, they can do whatever, and walk out. Yeah. They can take that laptop. The, so they, I realized I am exposed. So God told me, the tithe is for your local church. Because I think one month, I split. I will split. We 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 will split. Now, 
the church where you had taken the car portion of the other tithe, you did well. It is me who was instructing you to give into that church as well. But I did not instruct you to split your tithe. Hey. So over and above your tithe, I want you to partner with that ministry also. So he meant that in that ministry is a, a different form of giving. Okay, thank but you. your tithe. But my tithe, I, I repented. I said, Lord, I'm sorry. The following month, nikalipa number one hundred percent the whole ten percent nikapeleka na nikaongezea five percent yenye nilikuwa nimenyoa last time ukarudisha kuni nikarudisha kwa kanisa yangu wow huku kwingine nikasema i will just partner uh, it will be a form of offering yeah. that i give committee that is when i knew how serious tithing is when you don't tithe you don't have an offense you exposed. You are exposed completely. The enemy can walk in, walk the out the way he feels like, and, and you got do, nothing to do and about it. And now, kuna kitu the mid morning park right there mpenzi mtazamaji i thought that time today ingesema ha wa say to a pay enough time but sasa tunakwenda break a very short one maybe around 4 minutes and then we come back ndivyo sasa tuweze sasa kuingia kwa the you know like 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 and even listening to those people that we spoke to ndivyo tujue wow priorities are ni how not to eat your bread and also who owns the world of this world napia is there a difference between seed and tithe don't go too far the mid morning park finance monday mbci television transforming lives My name is Dawn Athanasius and I'm the CEO of The Great Life Life. Ah, amazing. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. My name is Shamir Bin Mohammed and I am the COO of uh, The Great Life Life. <laughs> Chief, Opera Opera Chief Operations, Operations Officer. Ah, amazing. <laughs> amazing. When it comes to um, productions itself, I think it, it's something that I learned along the way. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a musician. Mm -hmm. and uh, i've always always been around musical instruments because ah, my father was a musician as well mm -hmm. i started working in radio for the seychelles broadcasting corporation when mm -hmm. i was 19 and i continued until i moved to kenya back here two years ago and mm -hmm. that's where the cradle of life came from but obviously along the way a lot of things happened and you learn more and production really became part of who i am Always do what you say you're going to do. If you say you're going to deliver your services at a particular time, then do that. If you say you're going to deliver a particular quality, do that. Be professional about it. Keep time. You have to be a good communicator. You have to be able to communicate with clients, uh, potential clients, and your co-workers. Hi guys, my name is Dawn Athanasius. I'm the CEO of The Cradle of Life Limited, and this is Business Plus. The pinnacle of education is High Peak Schools, a reputable institution for anyone looking to unlock their child's full potential. From early childhood education to our junior school, our experienced educators impact students with relevant knowledge and skills for them to soar high. From well-equipped classes to modern laboratories, peaceful dormitories, computer room, and a music room. Students partake in co-curricular activities like swimming, skating, and many more. Our nutritious diets are sourced from our school farms and not forgetting purified water that is safe for consumption. We have a fleet of buses that are accessible to our students for comfortable transportation to and from school. To enroll your child, contact us through 0728-040-883 High Peak Schools Quest for Excellence Get ready for the most electrifying gospel event of the year. Praise Atmosphere 2023 on the 9th of December at Sitam Karen, Nairobi from 2pm onward featuring Evelyn Wanjiru Prosper Ochimana from Nigeria 
Rehema Simfukwe from Tanzania. Edith Wairimo. Celestine Donkor from Ghana. Wilberforce Musioka. Solomon Mukubwa. Kestin Bogo and Sharon Ishavuka from Kenya. Regular tickets are available for just 1,000 shillings, 2,000 shillings at the gate. And for the children 3 to 12 years, it's only 500 shillings. VIP and VVIP tickets are also available. Visit www.praiseatmosphere.com slash events or use pay bill number 800-8575 account praise. Praise Atmosphere 2023, uniting hearts in worship. Embrace the world of compassion and care at Goshen Medical and Technical College's School of Nursing and Health Sciences. Our school offers a variety of programs tailored to your heartfelt calling. Whether you aspire to be a Kenyan registered community health nurse, specialize in perioperative theater technology, promote well-being with community and nutrition, provide guidance with clinical counseling, manage health records and IT, or strengthen your foundation in essential subjects, our programs are here to guide your path. Our programs are certified by NCK, NEC, and CDAAC. A minimum grade of C- minus or higher is required for diploma courses, D- plane or higher for certificate courses, and D and below for artisan courses. We also offer bridging classes for English, Kiswahili, Biology, Mathematics, Chemistry, and Physics, allowing you to choose the path that fits your career aspirations. Visit our campus today or call us at 0750-264-044 or 0723-047-468. For more information, check out our website at www.goshencollege.com. Dot AC dot KE. MBCI Television Transforming Lives. Okay, get your kwanza or kisha fanya be a shara or kuza kitu. Lazima u make sure kitu yenye umeuza umeweka pesa ya ku replace hiyo kitu. And then sasa ndio utaweza kuuza hiyo uze hiyo uze nyingine. Faida ya kuweka kwa biashara kitu ya kwanza ni kitu kama kulipa nyumba. Sababu kulipa nyumba ni kitu yenye ni lazima kwa which ni lazima food pengine mali kama kwa familia yangu, mali ninaishi. Lakini sasa kwa size Beshari imekuwa ngumu sana such that saa zingine hata utauza kitu ushindwe ku ushindwe hata kurudisha kwa sababu ya matumizi venye maisha imeenda juu kwa kitu kama nyumba pengine venye tuko tunalipa nyumba 3 years nyuma huko si kama size venye mtu analipa venye mtu alikuwa ananunua vitu kwa nyuma vitu kama food yani mambo imeenda juu sana sasa unapata hata saa zingine biashara unauza vitu saa zingine unashindwa ku retain hata kupanga ile kitu yenye unaweza panga kitu kama progress ama kama mradi unapata inakuwa ngumu pia hata saa zingine kitu kama shule unapata kama mtoto wangu anasomea mali kama moi venye pengine tuko tunalipa transport hapo awali na saa hizi venye mafuta imepanda unapata imekuwa juu pia venye tuko tunawalipia vitu kama chakula unapata pia imeenda juu so tunaomba tu venye mambo inaweza kuwa at least mzuri venye mtu anaweza kuwa unafanya biashara unapata pesa unaweza kujikuza kama ni mzazi kama ni mtoto kama ni familia na pia hata mimi kujikuza biashara yangu ikuwe kubwa na mradi nyingine inaweza kuwa mzuri okay uh, tunaanza na rent kwanza Just just forget how. Alafu kuna products, kuna steamer pia, maji. Okay, huwa tuna okay, sasa ndio nipate profit, lazima nitoe hizo. Eh, sasa ni lazima tuangalie familia mtaani. Eh, my school fees ni nini rent pia. Yeah. Uwa tuna balance kwa ku balance tu kwa ajili kazi si vile, hata kuna kazi kama kitambo. Unaona venye biashara inaenda, venye mafuta iko juu. Si utajituma tu. Utabai kenye itakubakishia ndio utaweza ku balance. Kama kuweka kama kitu kama mimi weka kila siku 200 mbili, mbili. Unaona hiyo kitu hizi ni pay pressure ikifika ni rent, ikifika ni shule, ndagawanisha ile pesa. Kwa hiyo ukipiga hesabu kama 200 kila siku one month ni pesa ngapi? 
hii ni 6000 si ndio 6000 ni semeni peke shule nusu kwa rent nusu unaona mm. eh. na na priority yangu ya kwanza huwa kwanza ni chakula niweke chakula kwa meza ni make sure kwanza watoto wangu na familia wameshiba uh, ukishaweka chakula pia unalipa nyumba ya mwenyewe penye unaishi ukishalipa nyumba unaangalia sasa ile itakuwa imebaki kidogo kibaki kidogo unaanza kuangalia maneno ya shule kwa mtoto sasa ndio inakuja uh, kama ya, ya tatu huko sasa hapo kwanza wamekula wameishi uh, lakini kutoka hapo unapata kuna kitu imebaki nayo hata kidogo tai labidi tena asubuhi tena umeamka uende kutafuta ya saa zingine sasa ukiangalia kama ipikipiki yangu saa zingine huwa natoka niingia msituni napata nimechukua hata viazi nimeleta hata kama itabeba sasa inafanya bibi kidogo nikichukua cabbage nini na jaribu kuzauza ndio at least mapato iweze kuwa mingi kidogo It is only that uh, kuna baadhi ya sauti za watu ambazo ziliweza kuvurugika kidogo that is why hatujekuwa na nyingi kiasi hicho but wale ambao tuliweza kuzungumza na wao unasikia kwamba wote kuna kitu kimoja ambacho wanakitaja of course wanasema kwamba maisha kwa sasa yako hivi na vile because of uchumi and all that but also i know umesikia the priorities uh, vile ambavyo ziko have you had anything like giving I'm coming to exactly what they have said. But I was saying something earlier I want to tie. I have to tie this loose end. Wata ni malize. Okay. Yeah, tithing na fast fruit. All right. What is the conclusion? Okay. I am going to read Genesis siku na just kwa nimepea na scripture Genesis 14:20. Genesis 14:20. Hata nianzie from 18. Please do. Uh, so Abraham ametoka vita, ameweza ku come back na kina Lot, king of Sodom amekuja kufurahia sababu vitu watu wake na vitu zao ndio zilikuwa zimeibiwa. Then Melchizedek, king of Salem, Salem is peace, brought out bread and wine. This represents the Lord's table. Bread is the body of Jesus yeah. and wine is the blood, the blood of, of Jesus. Jesus yeah. So it was very prophetic mm -hmm. and was the priest of God most high. So this man who has come it's called Melchizedek, he is a king but also he is a priest. You know in the Old Testament you are either a king or a priest. Mm. But this one was both king and a priest. He was both a king and a priest. At the same time. Yes. And he blessed him and said, "Now Melchizedek blessed Abraham." So meaning he is greater than Abraham. Yes, he is. Hmm. Blessed be Abraham of God most high and possessor of heaven and earth. And blessed be God most high who has delivered your enemies into your hands. Mm -hmm. So anamwambia, ni kwa nguvu za Mungu umeweza ku defeat your enemies. Madui, yeah. Ni kwa nguvu za Mungu umeweza kupata all this loot. Hii yenye yote ilikuwa imeibiwa hii mali yote ambayo umerudi nayo ni kwa uwezo wa Mungu. Mm -hmm. The Bible says and Abraham gave him a, a tithe of all. Yeah. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yes, I am. The place of Abraham giving that tithe was a place of worship. Yeah. There was no law compelling him. He understood that this is God. Yeah. God has given me the power and ability. Yeah. To acquire what I have acquired to go and defeat the enemies and take back everything. Yeah. Now that Mungu amenisaidia The first thing he does is to give a tenth. Because after that now, he talks to the king of Sodom, tells him, give me the people, keep the money. He says, no, I don't want you to go telling people you made Abraham rich. Mm -hmm. Let my workers and my people take a kidogo kidogo. Hii ingine na watu wako na kuachia mi naenda zangu. Are we together? We are. So we tithe, yes. The God expects us to tithe. It's one of the ancient parts of God, but we tithe from a place of worship, worship. not from a place of law. Sikusukumwa na sikusukumwa. Na... Yeah. Number one. It's a place of conviction. Number two. When we are therefore giving, when you're giving a fast fruit, it is, you know, when the Bible says, whoever sows sparingly, reaps sparingly, you give generously, you reap generously. Giving us fast fruit is as how the Lord is leading you. Mm -hmm. I cannot tell you your fast fruit is your salary for January. That is extra biblical. It's not mm -hmm. in the Bible. Mm -hmm. But you may decide in your heart, according to how the Lord is leading you. I will give my salary for January. Mm -hmm. Or I will give, after I give my tithe of 10%, I will give another 10% to be my first fruit. Because mm -hmm. the first fruit was a shift. 
A sheaf is like a bunch. Ushau na vile ngano ikivunwa huwa inaeko in bundles. Yep, yep. One of it, that's a sheaf. Mm. So hiyo sheaf ndo ilikuwa inapelekwa kwa priest yep. to be dedicated. Okay. It was not even the whole acre. Yeah. Are we together? So it's as per the Holy Spirit. Vile sasa mungu anakulili. Anakuli. Kwa sababu sasa we are not farming wheat. Yes. So what is your sheaf now? Si mungu atakuambia what your sheaf is. Mm. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, it could even be a promotion. Umepata promotion. Mm -hmm. Na ulikuwa unaan maybe 10,000. Sasa unaan 20,000. Yeah. Useme, ah, hii pesa ya juu yote hii. Sabu usia tinikitu nikuwa nimepangia. It will be my first fruit. Yeah. Or 5,000 of the 10,000 increase. That will be my first fruit. Yeah. So you give it cheerfully. You give it from a position of worship. And you give not as burdensome. Any time you are feeling burdened in giving into the things of God, you are not in faith. Where? And you will not reap the benefits of what the Bible says. Paul, today I'm sounding a bit tough, but facts are facts. Before we come to now, um, the people that have spoken to us right there, yes. uh, ni vizuri tuweze kuangalia some SMSs ambazo zimeingia, and in particular one question ambayo nimeyona hapa, I want you to address it mbio sana yes. as, as we move on. Mm. Kuna mtu wamesema, hello MBC TV, and I think we spoke about this some time back. Mm. God is good this morning. My name is Dennis Molo, watching with my brother. Ken Kutoka West Pokot, Kapenguria. I am blessed today by uh, God through this financial Monday. My question is, um, am I able to give my tithe to the poor instead of giving it to church? Well, camera, this one. I need that camera to look at me. Please. Your tithe should be given to your local church. Not to the poor, not to the widows, not to the orphans, not to church projects, not to your parents, not to anyone. Your tithe should go to your local church. God wants to bless you so much that after you give your tithe of 10% to your local church, because you have a burden to help the poor, of what of the 90% that you are left with god will give you the grace for you to give a portion of it to the poor and another portion to the widows because your heart is right there are poor people and you want to help them so i encourage you please give to the poor after you tithe to your local church there you go give to the poor after you have tithed to your local church those are two different forms of giving zenye hazipelekani mahala like yes. haziguzani yes. so siwezi tithe kwa the poor yes. i tithe to my local church that's it but giving these another the, you know giving to the poor and yes. all that is yes. a totally yes. different kind of giving absolutely and seed is not tithe Seed is not tithe. <laughs> <laughs> tithe is tithe. <laughs> Nani may explain. Okay. All right? Yeah. How we give our tithe. Seed ni nini? Seed is actually something that you choose. You can a seed is a sacrifice of a covenant that you are making with God concerning a matter. It's a sacrifice. It's a sacrifice. You see, anytime you are making a covenant, lazima kuwe na sacrifice. Yes, Indio? please. Right? So, you say, Mungu alisema, seed time and harvest time shall never cease. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. So, I want to, to get into covenant with God on this principle concerning a particular matter. I have a business. I want this business to go to a certain level. I tell God, Lord, mi nataka hivi ya shara yangu ni wache kutengeneza 100,000 every month. Nataka kutengeneza 300,000. So, Lord, I want to come into partnership with you and into covenant with you. I am going to sow a seed by faith. Okay. And my harvest will be 300,000 instead of the 100,000 that I'm used to. So, I lay hands on my seed and I give it by faith. And I believe that I have received that which I have trusted God. And the end of the month, I expect to see the harvest of the 300,000. Now, let's say my seed, we have to name it. You name your seed when it's money. Mm -hmm. Because if today I sow a car, I'll get cars. Mm -hmm. for, for, before the Lord blessed me with my house, God asked me to build a house for someone. So I built a house for someone. Right? And God blessed me in my home. Wow. Are we together? Yeah. So give houses, you get houses. You give cars, you get cars.
right? Whatever you sow. Now, there are things like money that have no character. Yeah. So that's why we name them. Mm. Right? So you can name them. Mm. Right? Okay. And I also believe just by the mercies of God, you may say, Lord, because I have nothing to give, I have service to give. So I iwi mi nitajitolea hii mwezi niende kuosha kanisa. Nitajitolea niende nipange church. Mm -hmm. Nitajitolea nisaidie ku, kuosha washrooms za kanisa. Eh? And that Lord is my seed. And my harvest, this is what I'm trusting you for. You are invoking the law. Remember I have said they are ancient paths of God. Yeah. Tithing is one of them. That's an ancient path of God. Seed time and harvest time is an ancient path of God. Na ma yongelea kwa Genesis. Na hiyo ime uko huko Genesis. Ni njia za Mungu. Are you getting? That are not about to change anytime soon. Those ones cannot change. Worshipping God. These are parts of God. Why was Lucifer created? To worship God. In fact, he had a free will. So the level of worship that Lucifer could give, no other angel could give. Because that, it is, yani, mm, heaven is adorned by worship. Mm. It is the, yon your atmosphere ya mungu. Yeah. So even when God is creating man, man is supposed to do what? To worship him. To worship God. These are ancient parts of God. So now we are saying, we are worshiping God with our voices, with our, with our hearts, with our minds, with our substance that he has given unto us. We worship God with our all. One day, committee, and uh, this is maybe for more mature believers, yeah. we are going to talk about giving your Isaac to the Lord. Sacrificing that which is most important to you, to the Lord. Because many of us have Isaacs that we are not willing to give back to the Lord. Yet Isaac came from God. Mungu akimuitisha, unasema, ha ha ha, mungu itisha kitu ingine, uyu siachili. Uyu, siachili. Ah, no, 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 no. Committee, there are, um, uh, sorry, I'm really introducing a new topic. I don't want to address this All one. Right. To talk about, for mature believers and for, if you think <laughs> and you know God has called you to be a kingdom financier, yeah. I have a topic for you coming. Okay. All right. Now, uh, the people that we spoke to, of course, all of them, they have, you know, spoken about how the economy is and the priorities is about school fees, food and all that. Now, right now, it's mm. a bit tricky. Even mm. nini nini nini. Let me address my brother brothers and I really love them in the Lord. They are very good people. Um, huh, huh. Money, the issue of money, the issue of income, the issue of treasures and the issue of resources is a spiritual issue before it is a physical issue. It first, it, okay, money is spiritual. Incomes are spiritual. Treasures are spiritual. Okay? Kamite, unaniangalia funny like, where is this in the Bible? I am coming. I am coming. So, we need treasures to function here on earth, isn't it? Yes. We need treasure to pay rent. Of course. Buy food. Of course. Clothes. Yes. Cars. Mm -hmm. And other things. And live a good life as and well. And live and live a good life. Now, Jesus himself explains to us. What he explained and then I read the scripture. Jesus explains to us that in the place where treasure is found, there are two masters. Mm -hmm. In the place where treasure is found. Okay. Each of those masters has treasure to give. Yeah. So, anyone who gets treasure physically, there is a master who is releasing that treasure to you. And there are two of them. And there are two. Okay. Masters. Here, today, in the other realm. Start with your scripture. Please. Matthew chapter 6 and verse 24. Jesus says, you cannot serve two masters. You will either love the one and hate the other, or love the other and hate the one. Then Jesus says, there we go, I'll read now the last part. In fact, uh, let me read it the way it is. You cannot serve two masters. 
you either will hate the one and love the other, or you will be devoted to one, to one and despise the yeah. other. You cannot serve both God and money. In some versions of translation, they say mammon. Jesus Christ, the son of the living God, is comparing Jehovah God. Thank you for the scripture. Can we move it? Is comparing money. Is comparing Jehovah God, right, as a master. Mm -hmm. A master that can give treasure. How do I know he's talking about treasure? Because if you go earlier in Matthew 19, but they give us Matthew 6 19. Matthew 6 19. Because he's talking about treasure. Yeah. Yeah? So, uh, there we go. Do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth where moths and vermin destroy, mm. and where thieves break in and steal. Mm -hmm. Next, na 20. Let's have 20. Ah, characteristics of the two systems. But store up for yourselves treasures in heaven where moths and vermin do not destroy and where thieves do not break in and steal. Thank you for those scriptures. So let me help the church to understand this. Please do. There are two places where treasure is found. The first place is in God. Jehovah God, Yahweh. Kuna and he is spirit. Yep, he is. There is treasure that comes from God from the spirit realm and manifests in the physical, physical realm. realm. Are yes. we together? Because mm -hmm. everything starts spiritually. Yeah. Then it manifests physically. Mm. Are we together? Then Jesus is comparing spirit and spirit. So God is spirit. Then he says money. So money is spirit. Or if you like, there is a demonic spirit behind money called mammon. This is now in the kingdom of Satan or the kingdom of the God of this world. The devil is the God of this world. Mm. So, to kwana systems mbili ya pesa. Ya kwanza ni kutoka kwa mungu. Hingine. Ya pili ni kutoka kwa the God of this world. Mm -hmm. So, there is the God of heavens and earth, the God who owns everything. Then there is this other one who can give treasure. Are we together? Thank you. And I want to answer you with scripture. Because if God owns everything. So what are to answer? God owns everything. The Bible says that the earth is the Lord's and everything therein. The Bible says in Haggai chapter 2 and verse 8, The silver is mine, the gold is mine, declares the Lord. The Bible says from Genesis, The Lord created the heavens and the earth. And it even gives us a chronological event of how he did it. He would say, let there be, and it would become. Yeah. So we know the original owner of all treasure is Yahweh. Mm -hmm. Jehovah, the Lord God Almighty. Mm -hmm. God created the heavens and the earth and gave man dominion. Adam and Eve were given all the silver and gold. They were told, dominate. You have the legal right to run all my affairs here. Nyi ndiyo kusema. Sasa, nyi ndiyo kusema, mungu akampatia mwanadamu mamlaka na nguvu. Na uhuru. Na uhuru. Si uhuru kenyata, uhuru, ya uhuru, uhuru. Si ule mwingine. Shetani. Yeah. Akakuja. Kwa sababu ya wivu na kumchukia sana mwanadamu. Because now the human beings could do what the devil now cannot do. Yeah. They could give God worship in spirit and in truth. Mm. And that is what the devil used to do. Are you getting it? And you know, <laughs> yes, what I say, ma, I saw the devil fall like lightning. Yep. So, devil anaona, mimi ndio nimekua di kioparit sasa kukua. Sasa mungu amekuja amekreate. I mean, this place. Na dominion. Na kape hawa dominion. Nijikute. Are you getting? Yeah. So what does the devil do? The devil gets man to sin. When Adam and Eve sinned, what happened? The dominion that man had, the devil took it. Eh, eh. The devil stole it. So now, why Jesus is saying that the devil is the god of this world is because the original dominion that was given to man is with Satan. Can we claim it back? I am coming there. <laughs> when the devil was tempting Jesus, aliambia Jesus nini? Alimwambia, one of the temptations was, Oh yeah. Eh, 
uh, the devil brought all the kingdoms of the earth. Akambia Yesu. Unaona hizi falme na miliki zote hizi. I will give you all these kingdoms and their treasures if you only bow to me. So he gave a condition of worship. Yes. Now, before he even says bow to me, this is what the devil says. He says, all these things were given to me. <laughs> That's what he says. Yeah. <laughs> so the devil himself knows he did not create those things. He says they were given to me. By who? By Adam and Eve when they sinned. Are you getting? Yeah. So now the devil has treasure to give also. Ambaye alinyanganya man kule mbele. Are we together? Yeah. When Jesus died on the cross, he died so that he can take back power and authority for us now to contend for what is ours. That is why the Lord Jesus Christ says, all power and authority has been given unto me. Therefore, go ye. So whatever we lost when we sinned, whatever we lost, Jesus came to bring Jesus it back. Jesus came to bring it to back. Us. The way Jesus brought it back is not as it was originally, where it was just blanket for everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For this one now, we are contending. So Jesus is saying, I have now given you power and authority, and authority to take back your territory in the name of Jesus. Sasa tu kona nguvu na mamlaka. To take back everything that was meant to be ours. So on one hand, the devil is fighting people and believers. The devil wants to keep people in poverty. He wants to keep stealing, killing, destroying. When people are saying there is no money in the economy, we are struggling, we cannot even afford rent, we cannot do this. That is not a mark of Jesus. Because Jesus says, I have come that you may have life more abundantly. That is a mark of the devil, stealing, killing, destroying. Mm. That is not a mark of... So, in the two, in the comparison where Jesus talks about treasure, and then he says there are two masters. Yeah. Who is your master? Majority of us here on earth, we are actually under the master of mammon, and we don't know. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. The reason we are having this show is to help us believers start operating in our place of power and authority and align ourselves with God. Align ourselves with treasure that comes from God. Yeah. That is why I am teaching you how to eat bread. And how not pesa, to eat it. E, e pesa ambaye mungu anapatiana. <sighs> Inakulua na mnagani. And that's what I taught. Right? Okay. Now, there is a way, and how, how do you know that the way you're eating bread is not the way God prescribes? Exactly. You're eating bread according to mammon. Mm -hmm. Number, okay, so, first of all, have we understood about the two yes, entities we have. of wealth? Yes, we have. Yes, we have. Tumelewa. That is true. Okay. We have got Let me talk a little bit about mm. the, uh, you look like you want to cut me short. I hope I have time. No, I'm not. I okay, have time. we have like, uh, <laughs> we have like, uh, is it 20 minutes? 28? Uh, 28 all minutes. All right. We have 28 minutes. Yeah. Let me first deal with this uh, mammon. Okay? Okay. So, mammon is the systems of the world. Many people, particularly where you don't know God, you don't have a relationship with God, you, you just believe in your good education, your good hustling and everything, unknown to you, you're still under the spirit of mammon. You know the devil is very cunning, right? So you're under the spirit of mammon. So the devil, if, uh, and I'll give you an example, um, you find in many churches, Sasa nisisome. No, no, soma. Oh, okay. In fact, <laughs> what I'm saying is this, align with the systems of God. Yeah. So in the systems of God, right? Is education needed? Education is also there. Okay. Because it's a blessing of God. Mm -hmm. Are you getting? Right? Mm -hmm. What does the Bible say in uh, Proverbs chapter 3 and verse, is it 4, 5, 6, Apple? In Asema, trust in the Lord in all your ways. And lean not on your own understanding. understanding. Mm. In all your ways... Acknowledge him, and he will make your paths straight. Mm -hmm. So, wewe ambaye unaenda kusoma, ukisoma, 
acknowledge God and lean not on your own understanding. Okay. Usiseme nikisoma degree yangu itaniinua. Mm. Sio degree yako itakuinua. Ni Mungu atakuinua. Na Mungu anaweza kuchagua kutumia hiyo degree yako kukuinua. Yeah. Mm. Are you getting what I'm yes. saying? We have to acknowledge God. So that's what that, that scripture is saying. Yeah. Acknowledge him. Acknowledge you. Acknowledge God in everything that you do. So kujua ni God. Usiringe useme ni bidii yako na kujua kwako. Na my connection. You are reminding me of Melchizedek, not Melchizedek. Nebuchadnezzar. Yeah. Nebuchadnezzar stood in the palace. That man was strong. That man had conquered almost the whole world. Yeah. He stood he saw the kingdom. First of all Nebuchadnezzar was not saved. He was worshiping idols. Okay? So hata kwa mtumishi wa Mungu. He stood there and the Bible records that Nebuchadnezzar alisikia kufurai sana. Akasema, look at all these kingdoms that I have given to myself. The Bible says while the words were still on his lips, God spoke. Yani Nebuchadnezzar vile alianza kuongea naye Mungu akaanza kuongea that is how quick God responded He was talking and God was talking because <laughs> that's what the Bible says while the words were still on his mouth so at so, ajaweka full Direct ya kuga anaongea this is not any man Mungu akamwambia ati umesema nini Haujui mimi ndiye na inua na mimi ndiye na shusha Kuja hapa eh utakula ngombe utakula nyasi yes. kama ngombe kama m, an animal kama mnyama for seven sama. god humbled him. a pagan king who, who does not even worship jehovah alinua pride mwenye god hata angesema huyu hata niamini anyway sasa wengi wetu ni nebukadneza <laughs> eh hey, unajua eh hey, hey, uko na gari mzuri ha Si unajua siku hizi mimi ndio mdosi wa nini fulani eh hey, unajua hey, tuliende tuka hustle eh hey, mimi ni mjanja eh hey, niliconnect nikafanya eh hey, ndio unaona <laughs> mimi yule mse my friend ispokuwa tu ni vile we under the years of grace hata wewe ungesikia sauti ya Mungu with that your mouth that So that is pride it is pride and, it, and that's why now I want to come So now we understand there is a system of the world it's also called the Babylonian system please read revelations 18 you are going to understand about the, the the Babylonian system. Yeah. So in the Babylonian system, ama hii system of the world under Mammon, watu wanatumia maujanja mingi. That is why people go to witches to make money. Okay? Mm -hmm. That is why people who worship idols will have idols in their shop. They will have idols in their cars, right? Wanaabudu sana muzao, wanazipea maziwa, chakula, wanazifanyia matambiko na vitu kama hizo. Naye huyu Mammon, this demonic spirit responds by giving them money. I don't even want to go into where people even give human sacrifices. Yeah. Eh? Na hiyo iko by the way hata Bible imei capture. Ukienda mm. usome Revelation 18 uh, verse 13. Mm. Utaona where the merchants of the world were trading not just in goods and services. The Bible says they were even trading in the souls of men. You may have heard of people who uh, in fact yeah give me that one. Uh, this is now uh, it's talking about um, uh, Babylon being judged in one hour. Yeah. These are some of the things that Babi that uh, the the merchants of the world used to trade in. Cargoes of cinnamon spice of incense myrrh frankincense of wine olive oil fine flour wheat cattle sheep horses carriages and human beings so being slow, sold as slaves. Other versions say and human and and trading in human souls. Mm. Eh? That is where you hear there are communities that use demonic or sorcery understanding where they take the star of one of the children or of a neighbor or of someone and they use that star to prosper. And for sure the wealth comes. All this is demonic knowledge yeah. and demonic technologies. Yeah that people use to get money so the spirit of mammon that is the spirit of mammon that jesus referred to play kabisa that is the spirit of mammon at play yeah are we together yeah now how do you know that the money that god has given you you are operating under this very spirit of mammon how do you know vile unakula hii mkate yako haukuli according to the kingdom hii mkate yako una divide according to how do you know how do i know thank you 
John chapter 2. First John chapter 2. Do we have it? Yes, from verse 16. First John chapter 2 from verse 16. And Ay, this ya, is my ya, topic ya, for today. Ya, ya. Mm. Sasa hii topic mm. na venye watu wengi wana watch hapa kuna Ruse Joroge Brenda hata nimeona mwingine anaitwa Abdi Fatta Abdullah oh. Simon Kasaine Nyabul Kuoni. Washikilie wa, 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 juu sasa ndio tunaingia kwa topic. So many people. Mm. Ati you tell me No, I say it's first John not first John 2. First John Chapter two, from verse 15. Let me read it for you because I have it. In a summer, do not love the world or anything in the world. If anyone loves the world, remember Satan is a god of this world. Mm -hmm. Love of the Father is not in them. Okay? If anyone loves the world. So, usipende dunia na mambo za kidunia. Ukipenda dunia na mambo Na wewe ambaye unapenda dunia, basi upendo wa mungu baba haupo ndani yako. Uh -huh. Number one, okay? Okay. Now, number two, number verse two. 16. Yes. For everything in the world, everything in the world, world. the Bible categorizes everything in the world in, in three categories. Mm -hmm. First category, lust of the flesh, lust of the eyes, and the pride of life comes not from the Father but from the world. The world and its desires pass away. But whoever does the will of God lives forever. So under this demonic Babylonian system, there are three things. The lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life. What is the lust of the flesh? These are desires or cravings of the physical body mm -hmm. that go against God's principles. Ah. And people use money to satisfy Those the desires. desires of the flesh. So if the money God has given you, you are using it to satisfy the desires of the flesh. You are under the spirit of mammon. Which are these desires? Si ungoje, nakuja okay. Then there is last of the eyes. Now that will explain what these, th these things are. Last of the eyes are desires that are stimulated by what one sees. Often leading to covetousness. Mm. So ni vitu ambazo ukiona na macho yako. So ya kwanza ni tamaya mwili. The body. Ingina ni tamaya vitu ambazo unaona. What is pride of life? The other term for saying pride of life. Uh, it would say... Pride in material possessions. Mm. Are you getting? Mm. This, uh, this refers to arrogant and self-centered attitude, placing excessive importance on one's own achievement, possessions, and status. Mm. This is the place where you hear people saying, Where would you be? You will know me. My friend, Unadichazea. <laughs> I will cancel your ID and your passport. Yeah. Na mahali. Hey, hmm? Do you know who my father is? Hmm? You should know people. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that just came. The pride of life. Pride of life. So last of the eyes, last of the flesh. So anytime your money or your wealth is aligned to these three things, you are already outside of God. Where we go world. Let me come home now and describe this last of the eyes, last of the flesh, and pride of life. Let me describe actual things. Mm. Number one. Ito tamaliza leo. Wata ni kimbize. Greed in material possessions. You see a luxurious vehicle, sports car. You become consumed by it. You desire to own it. At whatever it, cost. Is this wrong? It, oh, at whatever cost. At whatever cost. Oh, okay. It consumes you. At whatever cost. Allow me to be very open and use my So if phone. I put a money like one gari and then I'm like, wow, that's a good one. Ukita mani hii gari. It bends, you know. Ukita mani gari kuliko vile unatamani mungu. You are in sin. Yeah. If you spend more time looking at that car. Hmm? Looking at you watching YouTube videos concerning that vehicle, hmm? talking about it more than you even talk about God, even God becomes jealous. He said, Allah, oh, because now that guy, he, that guy is becoming my God, it possesses your heart more than God. Ah. Let me give you an example committing. Ah. Uh, hey. confess your sins one to another. Yes, Mine kuna gari so just sana. about to confess. Okay, kuna gari sana. Mm -hmm. V8. V8. Oh, 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 oh. 
naturally aspirated V8 engine. Inaitwa Land Cruiser LC200. Yeah. Napenda hiyo gari. Yeah. My business partner <laughs> Mungu akamsaidia akanunua V8. Ile ni unapenda like. Yes. Yeah. So ikiwa tu mpya mpya akaniambia bro tunaishia Nairobi si si uendeshe gari leo at least hata we we feel sikwa ni mawai feeling gari hizo nilikuwa tu nimetest kidogo kidogo sasa tunatoka na kuru tunaelekea wapi Nairobi my friend kwanza ananiambia badilisha sport mode weka comfort sasa ukiweka comfort unasikia ni kama umekalia clouds so wewe ndio kaderi sasa mimi ndio dere sasa gari ya wenyewe gari ya kuonjesho so i am telling you that car feels good Oh the handling that car responds who feel bump ah who feel my bumps ukisema ni kuovertake unaangalia tu hivi unaona lorry iko pale but hapa mimi it it does what you say if you flow that pedal my friend all those v8 nozzles zinafunguka unasikia kwanza the sound Karibu niambie my friend can i record this sound iko ringtone yangu ya simu vile hiyo nje sasa ndio hawa sisi tumeangalia kinungi There's a story here. Yeah. So you're But still driving and feeling yeah, like I'm driving wow. I'm actually enjoying the car. So kinungi unajua kuna hata ka left lane kenye ka slow vehicles. Yes. You understand kwa nakimbia? Nilikuwa uh-huh. naendesha hapo I think I was at like 70. Yeah. Mimi kuna Subaru ilikuja ikanipita ya gray. Sijui kwa nini nilisikia ni kama ame overtake destiny yangu. <laughs> so <laughs> I looked at my business partner. Nikamwambia bro Unajua watu wa Subaru wanajionanga sana. Wacha tuonane. Eh. Hajui hii ni V8 4.7 liter naturally aspirated V8 engine. Let me teach him a lesson. <laughs> Nikalala nayo hivi. Sasa kuja siezi mu overtake juu kuna gari hapa then kuna gari yake. Sasa niliingia the third lane ku overtake. So I was overtaking the overtaker. Ay 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 ay. Ndio ni muonyeshe. Eh? Sunatu so, tu email pride. Mimi na jistaki. This is true it happened. Hakuniona. I think the last thing aliona ni number plate hiyo gari. Because it was like alinishikia Nairobi kwa sababu bado hiyo highway ilikuwa inatengenezwa huko makikuyu na huko. Sasa tuko kwa jam ndio nikamuona nikacheka <laughs> ndio haka The minute I said ndio haka I heard the Lord speaking Really eh Nikajua pride imeinuka Oh like uliongea mpaka kwa dharau ndio haka Si ni madharau sasa Ikaka ndio haka Eh Kamiti I knew I am not even ready for God to bless me with such a vehicle. What? Hii nimeonjeshwa kiburi imeinuka. Hii imeonjeshwa. Mimi sikuwa najua hiyo kiburi na kuanga kwa sababu kawaida yake na maxtrile yangu mimi sinanga shida hata nikiobatikiwa hata you are always eh, humble kwa bandana. Hata nakuanga tu humble. Hata inapishanga watu. Hata nikivia kwa bump naenda pole pole kinungi na samaka ah hii gari yangu sitaki kuikimbiza. Na hata ukinipita it's okay hata sikuangi na issue. Then all it has sudden, never The day I drove that V8 you became a different gibbe. Nikajua haya kumbe kumbe resident in my heart kuna pride of life mali hapo. Inangoja tu an opportunity. Ah, I lifted my hands I said father do not bring that car until the day I mature. Hiyo gari siwai kuja. Kamiti let me tell you kuna watu leo wako hambo. The only reason they are hambo ni sababu kuna pesa wajakutana nayo ile siku hiyo pesa itakuja that is when last of the eyes last of the flesh and the pride of life will come in nakwambia tulifika Nairobi kurudi nikaambia my business partner please endesha hii gari yako sitaki kana bro endesha nikamwambia zi <laughs> wewe ni bebe <laughs> ni bebe at that time i had not told him what was going on because the lord i i could really but already the conviction. god had rebuked you god alikuwa ameni rebuke So the Gambia to is is okay bro gari ni yako and then the guy is turudisha na kuru how all of a sudden you know <laughs> is because of ile your pride linuka that is material possessions committee some people the the house that you have built or bought for yourself in your heart you value it more than you value god if god asked you to give that house away would you give it Why do you think the rich young ruler Jesus told him I umefanya hizi vitu zote na ni mzuri but one thing remains that's what Jesus said isn't it Jesus told the rich young ruler one thing remains 
enda uze mali yako yote alafu nifuate not that jesus wanted this man to be poor is because jesus knew this man has given me his whole heart except the area of his wealth his wealth is his identity so he can't let go eh lust of the eyes lust of the flesh pride of life material possessions you covet your neighbor's expensive jewelry designer clothes Eh? I will do everything to make sure ile nguo nimevaa ni ile label inaitangwa sijui ni label gani whatever label people covet nowadays that is materialism and marketers push this the devil is pushing it the devil makes young people think kama sijava kiatu ya Nike sijafika sijava kiatu so they will do anything to get that shoe they will do anything to wear that jacket you've seen musicians in the world eh ameva meno za gold na ma diamonds na ma gold na ma chain last yeah. of the flesh last of the eyes yeah hmm? our ladies fashion and beauty an individual becomes possessed with the latest fashion trends constantly craving hmm? see we buy kupata fashion but the extent that you go Fa- to acquire that fashion and to be seen fashion dio 21 days of prayer kwake thank you dio fasting yake like are you getting what i'm saying yeah it gets to the point where even when god himself says he kadres kako usivae sababu utastambulisha wanaume kanisani watashindwa kuomba unasema my body my, my choice shauri yao unakuja kuniangalia nini are you getting what i'm saying yo you know l- let me even give a more realistic hey. example Right? You go to a church. Now, there are churches where you know you're going to church wearing a trouser is is an issue depending mm. on which community you come from. But uh, <laughs> what I to me bibi yangu kama example. So, me where we came from and uh, international jobs, expatriate jobs nini, you know, we were, were a bit liberal in our dressing. Yeah. But now we come to this church where God has led us. But in this church, they insist on a certain way of dressing, a certain level of modesty right sasa my wife needed to be in the worship team sasa clash ilikuwa must i sacrifice my clothes for this <laughs> worship team, team. eh hey, isn't your mini meva through na ijai kuwa shida admit za zangu ijai kuwa shida sasa tulikaa tukakuwa na kamkutano mimi yeye na Mungu so nikaaliza my wife how badly do we need to obey god mm-hmm. are we ready to sacrifice isaac akasema yes so akakubali akasema let's go shopping. Hii my trousers, my hipster na manini tuneka kando. In fact, <laughs> I remember that every we would buy a dress and asema nataka iguze chini. Kama iguze chini usinipatie. Well, he was, she was going a bit extreme. And the reason she was going extreme is to fight the urge and the desire to wear what she was using. Yenye ilikuwa ya. Yenye ilikuwa. Do I have to let this go? Are you getting what I'm saying? Yeah. So, it was to fight that desire ya kuishikilia sana. Yeah. There is nothing wrong with makeup, dressing and looking nice. But but I'm saying the minute it is interfering with the things of God and the ways of God. The minute it is interfering with the faith of other people or becoming your alpha. Unajua and... Biblia inasema yeah. kama wewe kukula nyama inakuwa za mtu and yeah. at a backslide because you are eating that so wacha kuikula. You know I went to a country where people eat frogs frog legs it's like a delicacy it's like if you're very bourgeois and expensive you order frog legs are you getting what i'm saying mm-hmm. so well for me i didn't order them but one on atua kikula but they looked very delicious <laughs> you know those frog legs right mm-hmm. but kamiti leo nikikuja saa hii kwa issue nianza kukula frog legs kuna wakristo wengi nitakwaza ni kweli si kweli kwaza ama mimi hata mimi sitaka hata wewe mwenyewe utakwazika na wewe ukikula chura hapa now because utakwazika <laughs> sitakula frog legs hapa <laughs> are you getting so is it a sin for me to eat frog legs it is not however kamiti my brother atakwazika so sidiachane nayo kwani lazima nikule ngoja ukiwa peke yako huko eh na ikula na huko are you getting what i'm saying yeah social media has become social media constantly social media comparisons constantly comparing one's own life possessions and appearance to the seemingly perfect lives portrayed ah, on yeah. social media leading to a desire for what others have mm, that's something 
That's it is happening in social media. Everywhere. Eh? Hai, yeah. niliona hii kapo. There's a lot of pressure. Unajua wana shop huku. There is a lot of Sita pressure. Sita si tuende tu shop huku. Yeah. Eh? Uliona so and so alipea bibi yake gari. Yeah. Alinunulia bibi yake, ni magarika ni zinapea na wadis. Niliona mbaka mungina mpewa Range Rover. Yeah. Hmm? Uli alipea na Prado. So wife anakuja nyumbani. Na anajua wako na kakitu anuza husband. Eh? Ebu angalia hii video. Uyu alipewa nini? Hmm? Na ni mwanaume kama wewe. Eh, na ni mwanaume kama wewe. I even serious na, na, babe. Na mimi umenipea ka kanisa duet. <laughs> <laughs> eh, wanaume wanapeana ma Range Rover kwa wake zao. <laughs> wewe unanipea duet. Eh? Are you a man? Social media has done a big has contributed greatly in last of the eyes yeah. last of the flesh yeah. pride of life yeah. pornography is another area yeah. the last of the eyes you watch naked pictures through your eyes your eyes are a gate what do they do they activate now the last of the flesh you start masturbating you start sleeping around. Does your rape key you, comes in? Exactly. You start doing all manner of, of evil and vile things. Sleeping with animals and sleeping with animals bestiality. And, yeah. Even trying to sleep with children. Yeah. Eh? Last of the eyes, last of the flesh, pride of oh, life. life. Mm? Wow. So it was to be this deep. Kuna kitu ingine tunaitaga consumerism. Yeah. Na hii Kuna mungu wa tusamehe. Where, where okay. director has to pay me a time? Anasema, <laughs> yeah, that's what we have. A, you say, we have around four. Four minutes. Acha nikimbia. I, I have to finish this one. Consumerism, what is it? A, 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 an insatiable desire to acquire the latest gadgets, electronics, or consumer products driven by their visual ap a, a, appeal rather than practical necessity. Sitiu kama umuai kuona, when iPhone is releasing a new phone, watu upiga line sa ingine two weeks. Yeah. Mtu anapiga Wait light, anaenda ana camp kwa light inje ya duka. Anangojea the latest iPhone 15. That has become a god. When is the last time you went and waited on the Lord for those 2 weeks? When is the last time you went and waited for God overnight? When is the last time you said, I want to give into the work of the ministry. I will nitachanga hii pesa for 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 10 months so that i have 300000 ya kupeleka kanisani as opposed to i have saved money for 10 months nachukua hii 300000 ndio niende nununue the latest samsung flip phone hiyo ndio inaitwa consumerism last of the eyes last of the flesh pride of life pride of life food and gluttony there is nothing wrong with eating but there is a level of eating that is sinful. Which is which now? Because unakula, unakula hautosheki. You do anything to eat. You are gluttonous. Wewe ni inaitwa nini? Wewe ni mlafi. Wewe ni mlafi sana. Ulafi, ulafi, ulafi. And by the way, the fact that people are fat does not mean you are laughing. Yeah. Kuna jeans too, yeah. kuna yeah. fat. And I'm, I'm not defending I myself. Agree. <laughs> I agree. But I am you, you go to the extreme. You go like, to the extreme you can of do anything. food. Anything. Kukula, 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 kukula. You get to the point of worshipping food. Unapika tu mahali, ukingia kwa nyumba, your wife tries to say hi, the children ambia, nisiongeresha kwanza niletewe chakula mimi kule. Ukisha kula, mamuruko minasema ni. <laughs> Food chakula <Yeah>. kwanza. <laughs> eh? Number eight, grabbing things. And unfortunately, this is with our leaders. Yeah. We grab land. We Four corruption. We steal money. Money meant for, for, for maternal health for our, our mothers. Iko Pesa ime, imetengwa na serikali. Isaidia kina mama kuza. Wewe na tumbo yako kubwa. Unaenda kuimba. Hiyo pesa. Pesa imetengwa kutengenezea watu barabara nzuri. Hospital. Waweze kutumia hiyo barabara. Unaenda unambia contractor shortcuts. Ndiyo wewe ukule hiyo pesa. Last of the eyes, last of the flesh. <sighs> eh? One minute. Education system, iko na issue. Sababu pesa ambayo serikali imetenga. Wewe na tumbo yako kubwa. Ulibeba. Umebeba yote. <laughs> hmm? 
threatening people political assassinations and even yeah you behave as if you will never die yourself you will and you know in the history of kenya there are videos i, I was watching on youtube the other day yeah. about how some of our leaders when you know alisha kufa yeah. how they would order the killings of other people Baka now, nauliza, now that you killed other people sasa si pia umekufa uko wapi sai where are you because you went before god si kuna damu ya watu umekuwa ukiitishwa hmm? tutakatoa ndivyo thinking time you are you are all that and a bag of chips yeah. if your money or your wealth causes you to operate in any of these ways repent of your wicked ways and turn back to god our god is merciful he will forgive you next time tunaongea kuhusu he adas jamaliza hii sawa kamete is my good name mid morning monday financial monday <laughs> Bye. Tutakutana kesho ndani ya Raushwa. What a show. Message thank you with us here. Tungoje Monday. Tuone saa tena tu. Okay, lazima tuvuruge. There is no sugar coating. We have to speak the truth because it's only the truth that can set us free. Finances iko na angus mob sana. If you start looking at them, you'll realize ya kwamba e Okay, kumbe even that bread that you have, this is how you're supposed to eat it and this is how you're not supposed to eat it. Bye. Tutakutana kesho ndani ya Raushwa. Relationship. Bye. Sasa cha ukweli. Kwaheri.